So today I want to give you a little tip on backing your trailer into a campsite. So first off, what qualifies me to give you this tip? Well, prior to getting into the video business, I actually was a truck driver in a former life. So I've backed in a lot of different size vehicles and this is one little tip that I learned that I think will make your life easier. Um, so first off, I've seen quite a few videos where, where people have explained that when you pull in, you want to pull straight in past the campsite, staying as close to the campsite as you can. Now there are some advantages, but there's also big disadvantages to doing this. The advantage is that by bringing your camper as close to the site as you can get, you will have more room on the front of the truck to swing the truck out as you finish your turn. Now the downside though, is that you're gonna have to take that trailer and move it at least 45 degrees if you have a slanted site. If you have a straight in site, you're gonna be moving that trailer 90 degrees to get into the site. I think I've got a better way. And that way is you approach the site like you normally would coming in straight, but then you're just gonna do an S turn with your vehicle. And by doing that S turn, again, there's going to be disadvantages, but I think a big advantage. The disadvantage is now you're going to have less room. When the nose of your truck swings, you're gonna have a little less room on the front. But I think the advantage is, on a slanted site, the trailer's already pointing in the direction you need it. You basically are just going to drive straight back. And on a straight site, you're only gonna have to move that trailer 45 degrees to get in. So that's my tip. And that's why I think this is a much better way to back your trailer into a campsite. Um, if you've done it this way, or if you do the straight way, let me know what you think is best. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think is the best way to back your trailer into a campsite.